Hello, welcome to The Biking Actor. I'm here at London's Excel to enjoy the madness that is London Bike Show. And I'm here with Matthew Sterling, who is an internationally renowned stuntman and who has just recently taken your CBT test. I have, I have, and I've uh, I bought a mutt. A mutt? I bought a mutt, I bought a yeah. fat Sabbath, a 125, nice. which I absolutely adore. And I've, I've literally just arrived and there's a mutt stand just over there. So I'm so excited because there's lo so many different combinations now and I'm, I'm interested in another combination, but I like them. Yeah, I love them, I think they're gorgeous. So what made you decide to go into bikes? I, I love bikes, I adore bikes. My granddad was a, a bike enthusiast and I never really got into bikes, but now I've gone out in a bike and now I'm enjoying a bike. I'm loving it. I it's quite, it. I find that it's, it's an addiction. As soon as you start, you suddenly start seeing bikes and yeah. you suddenly start buying more things. Yes, and uh, a new helmet, a new, new helmet, helmets. Yeah. yeah. But then you'll buy a pair, because you'll, you'll go shopping and you need something, so you'll buy something. But then a few months down the line, you go, if I had more time to think about it, I would have gone for that helmet. Yeah. And then yeah. you end up actually spending a lot of money. So but it's, it's exactly of... the same with the bikes, though, because you see the bike. Yeah. As I say, I've just seen the mutts over there, and I know what mine looks like. But now they've got a different combination of a seat and, and, the, uh, and the petrol tank, and I go, oh, I like that. Just one little bit can change it. And you think, oh, I suit that. But then you think, no, I need, I need a new jacket now. I might need a new helmet to go with that. So the collection gets more and more and it more. It does, it does. It's an yeah. expensive hobby. So, why did you come to the bike show? Um, well, I came to the NEC, went to the NEC one last year. I loved it. I loved the manicness of it. And I, I literally went in there with a mission. I went, I'm going to go in there. I know the boots. I did my research. I knew the boots that I wanted to get. I knew the jacket that I wanted to get. And I went in there. And within 20 minutes, half an hour, I got the stuff that I wanted to get. But it was just nice to walk around and see the different, see the different setups, different bikes. Because obviously, once I've done my Mod 1 and my Mod 2, I, I want to get out there and get a bigger bike. So you've got here, you've got CCM, you've got uh, Harley. Uh, what kind of bike are you interested in looking at? I, I love the Indians. I love the Cruisers. I do love the Cruisers. I'm not a, I'm not a sports bike enthusiast. I'm not really enthusiast because, well, number one, I don't like the position. I think it's very uncomfortable. I'm a bit of a, I'm a bit of a slow rider and a bit of a fair weather, a bit of a fair rider. weather rider, as yeah. they say. Um, and I think, yeah, I think I like the cruisers. I like the idea of a hot sunny day, sitting on a comfortable bike, being able to get off of a bike and walk around. <laughs> <laughs> so any interesting stories? Because I, I had one that as soon as my bike arrived, oh, so I'd never driven a bike before. I did my CBT right. in uh, an uh, automatic because right. I didn't realize there was a choice. So I did my CBT on an automatic and then I wanted to buy a bike because I bought a Herald. Uh, they're based up in Cambridge, so I couldn't ride it home. So I had to have it delivered. So they arranged delivery and uh, on the day that it delivered, the guy turned up as, as expected and uh, he hobbled to my door and knocked on the door and, uh, and he, he had a bad leg, he had a limp. So he went, oh, your, your Herald's here. And I went, oh, fantastic. And he hobbled back to the van and I went, oh my God, what's the matter? Have you hurt your leg? And he went, yeah, yeah, I lost it in a motorcycle accident. So, so here I am, not having ridden before, and the very first day, God is telling me it's not really a wise idea to get on a motorcycle. Well, I tell you the one thing that worried me was when I did my CBT, was literally I turned up and they go to you, right, here, in the car, park, yeah, okay, get on the bike, yeah, drive it around, do a figure of eight, right, yeah, test the brakes, yeah, okay, fine. Right, put this radio on, okay, okay, we're going to go two hours now on the road. And I'm like, are you, I've only been on this thing for half an hour, are you mental? Yeah. And he's going, no, no, we're going to go out the road now. And then you're out on the road trying to think about all the other cars and you've got somebody talking in your ear to say, if you just turn left at this roundabout, and I'm going, I'm at a roundabout, in, in the I'm at a roundabout. <laughs> and, and, you know, and change, stop the signal and I'm tooting the horn and doing everything like that. But uh, yeah, I mean, the, t the time to do the CBT is just to prove you can do it. Then you learn to ride when you get out there. But it gives you a new uh, perspective of, 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 of bikes now that you see a bike on the road oh, and they've got an L plate. Yeah, yeah, they could have absolutely. just literally, yep, yep, literally yep, yep, absolutely. just gone on it oh, that, yeah, yeah. Day. that day. And that's it. And they've got, they bought it and they, that's it. Yeah, yeah. And so you really do have to kind of. It's a massive respect for people and, and, and your awareness becomes greater. My awareness now of other people around me and the blind spots, etc., etc. It's become become much greater, hell of a lot greater. Yeah, but I, I love it. I, I think it's great. I, you know, and to see the different designs and and to know, you know, to sit on a bike because you you see lovely, some lovely bikes here. You sit on it and think, I wouldn't last ten minutes on this. Yeah. And I've just sat on um, where was I? The CCM and I love the CCM, the Spitfires. They're beautiful looking bikes. And I've just sat on one of them and I went, yeah, I like it. But I just sat on another one and went, yeah, this is the one. It's, this is my position. This is my comfortable position. But no, I love them. I think they're I think they're great. But you can spend a fortune. Yeah. You bought your wallet? 
Yeah, I've got cash. Okay, I won't keep you. Uh, Matthew, thank you so much for having a chat with me. Uh, all the best. Uh, go and buy yourself a jacket. Well, I'm going to buy a bike, I think. Enjoy. Bye.